it's hollow from Edinburgh again, outside Ainsley Park Stadium. It's a low league. It's Hartman Road and me versus East Club Ride. Game today, yeah, you're playing a good hard B side. Most recently, you've had some games where you've maybe gone behind, uh, but you've called yourself back. You'll, you'll be wanting to cut that sort of start out, won't you? We spoke about that uh, last night at training. The, the last few weeks we've, had, we've went behind, it's so great as always to get back and lead the game and win, take the points, but that only happens every so often. Eh? I think, as you say, you took that habit and start to get in front and control games. So, but as you said, really difficult game against a, a young Hearts B team, to be fair. I don't think, no disrespect to them, they would have expected them to be up so far in the league because they're such a young side, first year in the league, but to be fair, they've been a real credit to themselves and the club, they've been excellent all year. We the last game, didn't they? Yes, I, we started the game really strongly, 30 minutes in, it's probably should have been a few goals up, they scored a couple of goals half t before half time, and uh, they were excellent second half, so I must it was a really, really difficult game, really enjoyed the game against them last time, really tactically well set up. Obviously, they've got a really experienced manager, Foxy, really skilled guy as well, knows the game. So, I, I think it'll be a really difficult game, a game I look forward to. I was expecting a good crowd today, because I always find Friday night and delight. You've got a lot of ground toppers, a lot of people who are able to come along to the games. So, you'll be um, hoping to have a good atmosphere today, eh? Hey, definitely, you know, especially as well, being, being Hearts team as well, obviously, gives some of the fans an opportunity to come out on Friday night and see some of the sort of stars of the future. So, uh, I'm hoping to have a good crowd tonight. Ah, he's got Brader in the old white and Hart's in the old maroon. There's no, there's no clashes today, of course. <laughs> there's kick off, there's my kick off there, and I'm going to say some, some noisy. <laughs> East Coast Bay fans, making a better atmosphere. It's a good ball. Well, it's a good ball. The defense out. I'll tell you this. Goal stands. 
Nu var. Det er to sæson. Vi er jævlig kørt, ja. Nå er det her, hvor står. Quick one now. Put me out. Yeah. You have a shot? No, I will wait. You've seen that a lot where the time knocks the ball off. <laughs> you get there eventually. Oh, he's through, oh, just a bit. Oh, 
Break away, they've been doing that all game. This time they scored. Well, I reckon we're, we're just to be half time now. That goal was just scored um, a minute, maybe half time. There we go, there's half time, and it's a uh, 3 1 to uh, Jam Tarts. Um, it was a goal, I think it was just um, about a minute or half time. You're a new school bride fan, eh? Yeah. That's all I'm hearing, but it's so what do you think so far? Uh, it's been alright, um, but it could be a lot better. Um, yeah, it could be a lot better. Probably yourself. Yeah. You, you're a jambo, so you'll be happy. Yeah, it's been great. It's been good annoying him as well. <laughs> He's been... Uh, winding him up. Yeah, winding him up. Kind of a bit annoyed, but... The thing oh, is, though, right. I mean, you can't count East Kilbride do. I mean, they're, they're, they're legend of coming back in games. The last couple of games, I think, yeah. they've gone behind and they've always come back, so... Uh, eh? Yeah. Well, that was literally oh, in. But we went 2-0 down at half-time. And then pulled it back to 3-2. Yeah. At the last minute, we'll... That was really good. It was quite a lot of scenes with the Ultras All as right. well. So, that was actually really good. Okay. Thanks so much, guys. I'm looking for the second half. The Kelby boys on tour. I think you somebody will come back then. Because they've got a reputation of coming back from being behind, eh? We have a probably a bit five of the last eight games we've been behind at the start and we've ended up coming back to win the game but I think they're a different team than I think they'll probably hold on to our lead 2-1 I think aye we can do it 3-1 I'd be happy with a draw it's maybe way. a bit um, too much to catch up yeah aye. I think so I mean the second the second goal was 100% offside I know I've um, got that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, um, can't even really moan about the performance they're just they, they're full time aren't they, they, they yeah oh, aye. I mean they're, they're, they're quick fiddles, they're, they're so quick they're good yeah, they're a good yeah. side uh, they beat us at home as well so yeah. if we come back and get three each I'd be happy with that yeah you'd be you'd set up for a draw aye. keep the street going so that's aye. interesting right and you've brought along with no bad we support the day it's been good aye, good, aye. it's been good aye the um, full bus came through it's been rubbish I mean because of the situation with the flats and that, we get the drum taken off us, but it's out with our control. They, aye, they don't like I think, it either. I think at night time, aye. Um, but it's just one of the things. But good. The team's out for the second half, eh? And it's the Jumbos. The kick off. Here's all the Kilby guys coming back. I wonder if they jog on. Oh, oh, there's a chance here. Oh, I just didn't get it right. There we go. So it's a first corner of the, the half to East of Oh, yeah. There's a good corner, really. Oh, there's a. Thank you! 
Mm, so. Ja. Ich hier völlig vorbei, da noch. Oh, 
Once you get the ball back in. Oh, 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 Chance here, you see. See the goal in a wall, you know, let me see it, double see.
Le go is got that. So, uh, it's full time. Uh, it's 4 2 in the hearts. And that was the score the last time. We go again, side. Hey, Liam, uh, you thoroughly deserved your first half lead. But you think you've got a reputation of coming back. Did you say anything to your guys about that? Was, was that in your mind? Well, listen, East Kilbride are, the, are the best team in the league. They'll, they will win the league in a number of weeks. I've no doubt about that. So we'd always expect them to have a period in the game where they were going to be on top and they were going to cause us problems. I'm just really pleased at how, how my team reacted after conceding the, um, their second goal. And we went on and we, we managed that part, period of the game. Yeah. Um, I think we it wasn't as free-flowing and there wasn't as much... Um, there wasn't as much control from our point of view but what, sometimes in games of football you have to fight yourself through these moments and I thought the, the group did that reasonably well and then we, we get a wee bit of moment of quality with the fourth goal. Yeah, and you'll be pleased with the, the way you scored the goals. It was quick breakaways, good play, you know? Yeah, well, listen, that's the stuff that we work on continuously. We've worked on that from day one. Um, but any goals are good goals, so as long as it goes in the back of it, we'll be pleased. OK, thanks. I thought Hearts uh, deserved their first half lead, even yeah. though I think one of the goals was offside. I know you weren't happy with their first half performance. Um, what, what did you say to the guys at half time? Because you, you had to come back at, uh, in the second half, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a, it's a, it's a bad, really bad start. Obviously, to go two goals down uh, so quickly, we changed the shape a wee bit, but the two goals didn't come to shape. They come from not competing uh, and losing first balls, then second balls. Um, in fair play to Hearts, they, uh, they sensed that um, and they got two goals very early so at half time it was uh, putting a message across that we need to compete better yeah. uh, against young enthusiastic guys and if they didn't compete then they'll, they'll run over the top of you so we changed the shape as well, we went back to our usual 4-3-3 uh, and I actually thought we started the second half uh, really well yeah. But then they go and score another goal and right. it completely kills the game. I mean, I thought the 3 2, you were, you were on the same yeah, stage. We're yeah. going to get that. And yeah, it was yeah. just, it's probably just a bit lucky. You had one or two chances. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. the sort of football. How, how did you see that pan out? It's again, no, I didn't really believe in unlucky. I think over the course of the game, Hearts really deserved a win. Again, the fourth goal, I, I, I think we're not tight enough to one of their wide players. Uh, and if you get good players like Hearts have got time and space, then they'll kill you. And that's what happened. Um, so I wouldn't have put work in it. I just thought Hearts yeah. thoroughly deserved a win. Okay, that's fair. Cheers, Thanks very much. Thanks. There you go, folks. Thanks to bo uh, both uh, the management teams for speaking to me. I really appreciate their time. As to the game, Hearts thoroughly deserved their first half lead, even though the second goal was offside. You know, East Kilbride had to come out in the second half and they've got a reputation of going behind and, and fighting back. And at 3 2, I thought there was a chance they could have equalised. Uh, they were pretty close to it, but has to go up there and score. I mean, they're quick. I've seen quite a lot of hard B games this season. Uh, I've only seen them got, got beat once, uh, and that was, I think, the winter had a lot to do with it. That was at Cowden Beath away. Um, and they're, they're impressive. They're fast, they're quick. They're, um, they, some of the passing they play is, is really good to watch. They're all, they're all young laddies. Uh, and they're really impressive. So well done to the, the wee jambos. So it was nice come day to day, but I'll tell you what, they've only, I think they've only to won four games and they'll have won the league. Well, they've got that good gap. The nice come brought a few fans through as well, good to see. And had the Kilby, the Kilby boys there, I believe their drum was taken out at night. We can't have the drums at night. Uh, here, as, as you find that in quite a few grounds now, it's pretty sad, eh? But they still made the noise and it was good to see.